Hey everybody, Ashton here again with 10 cents. Filming two videos in the same day today. Imagine that, crazy. Today I have a fragrance for you, it's very cheap. You can pick this up online right now for I think $20 for a 100 ml bottle. It might be 25, but I think 20. This is a fragrance that is a clone, technically, kind of an inspired by fragrance, but in my opinion, it's actually really well done. A lot of times you'll see fragrance reviewers talk about uh, cheap fragrances and how awesome they are or whatever, when you know that they're not really wearing that fragrance. So they'll talk about something and, and say that it's amazing, and you know deep down they're never ever going to actually reach for and wear that fragrance. Uh, this is a situation where I'm talking about a cheap fragrance and I actually legitimately do wear this. So this is gonna make my top 10 winner list whenever I get around to doing that uh, as far as designers go. Uh, it's just a fragrance I really, really enjoy. So whatever, if you're gonna hate on me for that, then go for it. But today the fragrance that we're talking about is this guy, Zara 9.0. All right guys, let's do a quick presentation. All right here, you got the box, you have the name of the house, name of the fragrance, some of the notes here on the front. There's nothing doing on the sides. On the back, you have a little bit of information. On the bottom, you have barcode with your batch code. And it opens up like so. Bottle sits down in here. Box does feel a little bit flimsy, a little bit cheap. Here's your bottle. It's got kind of a cranberry coloration to it. It's got a rubberized feel as well, so it feels good in the hand. You have the name of the house, name of the fragrance, some of the notes, again, just like the front of the box. On the bottom, you have your sticker with your batch code. Cap is plastic, it's a little bit weighted to the top, and it does click into place. Atomizer on this is decent. All right, guys, there we go. Presentation for Zara 9.0. So this is a fragrance that I picked up when I went to Chicago. I actually made a video about that on my channel. I think that was in 2017, not 2016, but I picked it up in Chicago at Zara. At the time, you couldn't buy Zara fragrances online. Now you can, and this is one of the ones that you can pick up online. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be available there, uh, but you can pick it up online now. You don't have to have a Zara store near you because I know a lot of people were kind of screwed when it came to Zara fragrances because they didn't have a Zara nearby and I was one of those people. So I took the opportunity to check it out in Chicago, really liked this one, picked it up. This fragrance gets heavily compared to Dior Homme Intense and Valentino Uomo. So right away that should let you know what kind of fragrance this is. If you really like those two fragrances, you're probably going to really like this one. If you don't like those two fragrances at all, probably not gonna like this one. This one opens up with a thick blast of iris with a sweet amber underneath it. There's also a touch of spice from coriander and juniper in there. So those spices, the coriander and juniper, they add a little bit of zing to this fragrance off the top. Again, there's sweetness from the amber and a good amount of iris. If you're unaware, iris is a fragrance note that comes across as uh, lipsticky or makeup-y, a little bit dense sometimes a little bit powdery. And along with that amber, uh, there's a little bit of sweetness that comes across smelling like berries. So it's, it's pretty interesting. To me, it doesn't smell exactly like uh, Dior Homme Intense. It's actually a little bit closer to Dior Homme than it is Dior Homme Intense. And if we're going, you know, for all those fragrances that smell similar, Zara 9.0 to me smells closer to Valentino Uomo than it does either Durham or Durham Intent. So if we're ra ranking it on like a, a clone scale, it would be closest to Valentino Uomo, at least to me. So yeah, that same style, uh, that same style of fragrance just comes across a little bit sweeter and less powdery. The iris is not as strong in this fragrance as it is in those last three that I just mentioned. So that may be a benefit to some of you out there. We're not really into uh, the heavy iris note that Valentino Uomo, Dior Homme, Dior Homme Intense has. It dries down to a soft, sweet, warm, amber, iris, and cardamom mix. At that point in the far dry down, it's almost like Dior Homme and Valentino Uomo combined. I actually did not even open this box, this bottle, uh, until about a month ago. So I bought it in Chicago. I had it for a really long time and it was just sealed. I never bothered with it. I had smelled it in a store and liked it and I picked it up because it was cheap. I just never got around to wearing it. Then when I actually did, I really, really liked it. And for the price, fantastic substitute for Valentino Uomo and Dior Homme or Dior Homme Intense. Because those three are not exactly cheap fragrances and this one definitely is. And even though it is a cheap fragrance, it doesn't come across as cheap. It's not a fragrance where you smell it and you're like, ah, oh, it smells synthetic or chemically or whatever. It smells legit. 
Longevity for me also, very good. I'm talking eight plus hours, so absolutely no complaints there. And the projection is best in the first hour to hour and a half. After that, it starts to sit a little bit closer to the skin, but again, for $20, $25, what more can you ask for? And be aware, there are going to be some people out there that say, oh, this is, this is crap. You know, nothing compares to Dior or nothing compares to Valentino. Uh, in my mind, that's just not true. This is definitely a legitimate alternative. It does not smell considerably cheaper than a Valentino Womo, for example. I'm a big fan of Dior. I'm a fan of a lot of Valentino fragrances, but I've been wearing this instead lately. 100%, no lie. I've worn this probably four times over the past two weeks and considering you know the reviewing and all the crap that I have, that's a lot for me. I really, really enjoy it. It's gonna make my winter top 10 list 100%, so just letting you know that ahead of time. If you're interested in a Dior Homme, Dior Homme Intense, Valentino Womo type of fragrance on the cheap that's a little bit sweeter, a little bit less iris, uh, with a little bit of spice as well, check that out, 100%. Uh, the box is a little bit cheap, but who freaking cares? Bottle's actually really nice. It's got a tactile feel to it, kind of rubberized. I really enjoy it. Uh, nothing else to say on this one. Uh, if you have a Zara nearby you, you can go into it and check this fragrance out. They should have it in store. If you don't, you can check them out online. I'll leave a link in the description, but if you just go to like Zara.com and look up fragrances, it's on there. If you have smelled this one, let me know what you think about it in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.